dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you welcome to Rig for last time my name is Katie today I'm going to be doing the first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a 2021 roundup I went to rank my palettes today and just I basically like went through and picked like dug out all the palettes honestly I can't even remember what palettes were from 2021 uh, right like I got most of them I think I might have included one ones that a couple that were released in 2020 that I didn't get until 2021, but I, I'm not sure. We'll see. So anyways, I like went to rank all my palettes and realized I barely used them. Like I, some of them I haven't used at all and some of them I've only used once. So I just thought it would be fun for December to kind of just use the palettes that I got in 2021 so that I can actually give you guys a fair ranking at the end of the month. And then um, basically, yeah, I talk a little bit more about it in the video. So without, let's just quit fucking around here and get into the look. If you guys are curious to see how I got this look or, well, that's it. If you guys are curious to see how I got this look, then hang out. Wait, I think I forgot to tell you, this is probably gonna be like, I, I zoomed in and then zoomed out. I hope you guys don't get head fucked over it, but I'm gonna use the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette for this video. I think I forgot to say that because I was too busy fucking around. So anyways, if you guys want to hear me fucking around... I'm going to start with this Voldemorphy M506 and I'm going to start with the color Earthship, which I would like to have an Earthship. And I'm just going to place this. I'm going to be packing it in the outer V. Hmm. That's not really the most cooperative shade, honestly. Sorry, not sorry. And then I'm going to use my Jessup 227 and I'm going to go into the color Golden Age. And I'm just going to bring that into my inner corner and drag it and use it to blend out that green. All right. Now it seems to be behaving a little more. So yeah, I basically just like looked at all my palettes to do like a 2021, like pick all my favorites. And I just realized like, I haven't really used my palettes that much this year and I've really been distracted with some shit. So I just thought it would be fun for me to spend December, like kind of just reflecting and like using my products and actually seeing what products I like. So I do like it that I'm not getting any bullshit in the crease. I just feel like this was like really went on patchy and it looked a little, a little sketchy there at first. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ooh, who's this shady motherfucker here? <laughs> it has been the most crazy month for me. I got a new car and that's like super scary for me because I'm a fucking welfare rat. So then I'm like hustling my ass off trying to get all this money to pay for this car to come up with a down payment so it doesn't get taken from me so my daughter doesn't fucking have to be like see the fucking fail right. So I'm like hustling my ass off door dashing like I, I'm not you know I'll fucking do whatever I have to do to like do things right. And I've been making a couple of other moves which are really exciting. I created a course, a makeup course for like basically women over 40. Like it's beginner, it's got some foundational things for people who, you know, you can't just go into fucking EFG without doing A, B, C, D. So I, I did include some like foundational things but honestly I was thinking about it and you know, 
I was a snowboarder for a lot of years and then I went and applied for a job at a, as a snowboarding instructor and I became a beginner snowboarder instructor and I had to take the beginning snowboarder course and that was like a game changer for me. Like I wasn't, I wasn't foundationally a really good snowboarder before I took that beginner class and I had been snowboarding for years. So I guess my point being is that there's always something you can learn but the really exciting thing is like over the, over the duration of me like putting this together and like building it I've gotten really excited about makeup and like what makeup can do for you and like how good doing your makeup is for you I was having this conversation with a girl that I'm friends with on Instagram just about like how essentially like basically like it's kind of we just wonder like you know over the course of the last couple years of me doing this channel I have like realized one thing like people's lives ain't perfect and a lot of us are doing this because we have trouble right we got strife we've got chronic pain we've got um mental health issues we've got addiction we've got family problems I mean everybody's got all that shit but like what is is actually I wonder am I like do I need to bring this back a little bit more so you guys aren't like I, I can't stand that when my chin is cut off or anything honestly I feel like I'm like trying to build and build and build this color and it just keeps like going away but maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just like trying to be creative it's gonna be fucking fine so anyway like we've all got like problems and a lot of us came to makeup to like learn how to like use it as a coping tool and so a lot of the stuff that I've been putting in this course is like about like using makeup as a like coping device but anyways it's really fucking good and honestly I haven't created it because I didn't think I I honestly didn't think it was going to have any value and now that it's almost done it's so good that I can't even fucking stand it honestly it's so good I can't wait to like give it give it out right so Anyway, it's going to be, I'm not giving it away. It's going to be for sale, but I'm like really excited about it because I feel like, why do I feel like, okay, no, we're good. Sorry. I just had to, <laughs> I'm just really excited about it because it actually like made me convicted about makeup again, because for a minute there, I've been pretty fucking uninspired. Like all, I feel like all the new releases have been really just so, so, and there's only been a couple that have really got me hot and like, you know, whatever it is what it is, but I just feel like I've lost my excitement this year. Okay. I'm going into chlorophyll because I can't stop myself. This wasn't the plan. This color. I mean, how can I resist it? Oh, this is my Jessup 221. Sorry, guys. So anyways, the course is exciting and it's kind of like rejuvenated my love of makeup. And um, a lot of you who have been here for a while, not necessarily on my channel, but just like doing makeup and on the platform and in the community, right? I'm sure you guys know that there's times where you kind of get in a rut and you just like say, fuck it. You're not like really that into it for a while. And then you come back and you're like, hey, guys. Well, I feel like I've done that several times, but it wasn't ever because I was like not that into makeup. And I can't tell you know here's the thing about shit like that is that usually it's the action you you got to take the action like bring your bring your ass and your the rest will follow right if you take the action that's what triggers the thoughts not the other way around so anyway okay what am I doing if I do that then that'll just be boring like what I always do I'm gonna go in with my spectrum a13 smudger brush and I'm gonna go into nouveau and I'm gonna take that along my lower lash line And then I'm gonna use my Moda Pro BMX 402 smudger brush and I'm gonna go into Peach, Peach Soju. Peach Soju, I wonder. So that's been fun. And um, yeah, kind of just realizing like, I don't want, I don't want my, my YouTube life to pass me by. I bought a few palettes. Instead of like freaking out about money, I like remembered. My channel is important. It needs fucking funding. 
I bought some pallets, I got the money for the car, like everything has been fine. And I just, I'm just, I don't know, I feel like I'm about to like bring it back and like do some amazing shit. So anyways, I, what I'm gonna be doing for December, I'm gonna commit. For December, I'm gonna be doing a 2021 like roundup review, kind of just working with pallets that I've got in 2021 and like seeing actually how I feel about them. Then I'm gonna give you guys a ranking and I'm also going to like talk about 2021 as far as like launches. I'm gonna do a, a hump it or dump it 2021 episode. So that's gonna be fun. And so because essentially there has been releases that I have wanted and didn't get because I didn't choose to prioritize the money for them, but I still like them. So I'm going to talk about stuff that I, I kind of not necessarily wish I would have gotten, but stuff that I would have gotten had I not been so focused on, you know, other things. And then, yeah, so I'm going to do 2021 Hump It or Dump It. So those are all the things that you guys can look forward to. I'm going to go into my NYX Glitter Primer. Look at this shiny new new bitch. I did not have to come up with a down payment on this. I was like, well, maybe I can afford it. I'm going to use my AOA E131. This used to be my favorite. Now that I got a new NYX glitter primer, I need to keep putting the cap on. You guys, you guys can be my accountability on that. You'd be like, Katie, put that fucking cap on that goddamn glitter primer or that GD glitter primer or whatever you prefer. And then I'm gonna use my Jessup 234 and I'm gonna go into stained glass. You guys know I can't resist a fucking pink and green look. Probably, this is probably the look I did the last time. Actually. And then I'm gonna go into Sun Gazer. Fuck, did I do this exact same look? I better do something else. I'm gonna go into Aloe Cape, Aloe Cove. This was not the plan. Ooh! It's these Kaleidos shimmers. Kaleidos has big dick shimmers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, this ain't the look I did the first time. I did the pinky Tuscadero look, right? And then I'm gonna use this uh, 237, Jessup 237 detail shader. And no, I'm not, no, I'm not. No, I'll just use this. I, I think I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna go into Aloe Cove with this same 227 and just kinda. So yeah, I got a new car. Crazy. Now I'm gonna use that detail shadow brush. I'm gonna go into my Plain Jane palette by Adept Cosmetics and I'm gonna use AC17 as my inner corner highlight because it's like a nice pink green mix and because I do what I want. My name is Katie. Welcome to my channel. I am out of Mac Fix Plus for the love of God. Oh yeah, for the love of goods. Ooh, that is pretty. I didn't really need to go in twice with that, but ooh, I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't fucking regret it. Dang, that's badass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I'll take it. I fucking jizzed all over my fucking hand with this fucking Mac Fix Plus. It's down to the bitters. I'm just like using the end of that Adept Cosmetics. Clearly, I mean, this palette is like definitely a standalone palette. It's so good. I just wanted to do it because I was like, no, I didn't want to do the on the nose thing. Why can't I just do the on the nose look? Somebody stop me, please. I almost stuck my hair on fire. <laughs> I think that's the look. Actually, I think I just want to go back into this like dark pink one more time and just like and reinforce that. Oh, fish eye. Ew. And I don't like it that I use that. I'm gonna use this Beely, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. And go into that peach, peach soju. What is it with Kaleidos? They always name their shit something that I can't fucking pronounce that easy. I just am like blowing this out because I don't like to do that with brushes like that. Oh yeah, that's why. I'm gonna use this Wayne Goss number 16. It's a kind of a fatty. 
and just like blow out my lower. Much better. Uh -huh. I love that. Okay, that feels way better. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So, this is the manifesto, the PS de resistance. I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs in Slayer and my NYX Slide on Glide on All Day Hard on in Golden Olive and my Mars Melter, like the second. Who the fuck knows? It's like the re remix, I think. I'm pretty sure the first one was the red one, but at this point, I who knows? Anyways, I felt like it matched really good. And then I used my Kaleidos Lip Cloud in Adobe. Super cute. I uh, love the look. I am going to tell you guys, this is literally, I love this fucking palette. I had the hardest time packing that green on there. Like, I felt like I just kept packing it on and and blending it off and packing it on and blending it off. I don't really care. I still love it. And honestly, like, I love this fucking palette. However, that happened. So, anyways, uh, yeah, so I have a class coming up. Um, you guys be sure to keep keep a watch out for that. I'm pretty excited about it. I feel like it, it's going to bring a lot of value to people. I gave all my pointers on how I choose colors, how I blend colors that don't blend together. Um, yeah, I'll tell you guys more about it as, like, as it progresses. It's literally almost complete. So, um, anything else? Oh, I started a Patreon. I have one video for it. Um, that'll be uploaded soon. My link to my Patreon will be in the description box already, and by the time this gets uploaded, I should have my first video on it up. Um, I just, you know... If I want to suck dick for money, I would fucking have a boyfriend, so, and I wouldn't have had to hustle my ass off door dashing to pay for this car, right? Um, I just feel like with a Patreon, I get to be more myself and do the things that I really want to do, like, um, you know, be an artist. I want to do art more and I want to connect with you guys more and I want to be more myself. So if you guys want more Katie uh, than is allowed on YouTube, then go check out my Patreon. Um, so that's everything. And I'm just going to keep like using makeup from 2021 and hope you guys don't get bored of it. Uh, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality, my boy's charm. And hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it. And I'm, I'm spreading my fingers out. I'm getting my tentacles spread out everywhere. Like you'll never know where I'll just pop up. I'll, I could be any fucking where. I'm everywhere. So go check out my Patreon. Go check out my Instagram. Um, I talk more on my Patreon and less on my Instagram. So you can kind of get, you can kind of choose a little bit there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me. And I totally appreciate you. Later.